Hello everybody, it's Dr. A. I'm here in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm doing the lighthouse here, the St. Augustine Lighthouse. It is the first light in the actual in the state. And today what we're looking at is a very distinctive uh, black and white swirled stripes on the lighthouse. And this is not the first one that was built. So let's talk about what happened. The very first one was built, lit, lit in April 5th of 1824. And this lighthouse survived until after the Civil War. And this was due to erosion that had to, they had to move that one. And this is the new one. Behind me, I think you might be able to see it there, uh, that they moved 167 yards I think it, no, it's 167 feet. Sorry about that. I want to say it was like 600 yards from the old lighthouse. That one's underwater now. Um, today, this lighthouse was lit on October 15th of 1874. It has survived three earthquakes. And today it is run by the St. Augustine Lighthouse. I want to say association. I think that's right. I know they're incorporated as well. But we're going to go inside. I'm standing in front of it. I didn't want to talk too much because, you know, there's going to be a guide. And we're going to climb it today. So, well, we want to welcome you to climb with me and Randog. He's here. He's uh, carrying all my camera stuff as usual. Look at all these beautiful trees. So this is the entrance into, it's a museum. Obviously, I'll show you the schematic of it. Here's the drawing. Um, you can go and do a bunch of different things. Um, we're probably going to do a uh, more in-depth tour. We've been here before. It's one of the best lighthouse museums I've been in. Um, probably this one in Ponce Inlet in Florida. They're really good, so um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Okay, we're inside the lighthouse now, and you can see there's all kinds of places you can walk around in here. Um, it's a self-guided tour today. We wanted to do the extra one, but it's not available right now. So, anyway, we're happy to be here. It's beautiful. Um, let's go to the lighthouse. the second floor of the keeper's house and you can see there's this is a big 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 complex here down there are different things for the maritime work they do as far as the archaeological stuff I've actually been in there once before
coming up. I'm almost there, sorry. Oh, nope, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your phone. I was reading that one of the hazards of the early lighthouse when they first built this building was birds would run into it. If you can see across the river, that's downtown St. Augustine, the whole historic section. And then there's the beach. So Florida Skipjack. These were sailing vessels that were shallow draft and used for all kinds of things. Shipping things, fishing. Uh, they, uh, what I heard is mostly shad on the St. John's and there's the lighthouse again. We're still on the grounds of the St. Augustine Lighthouse Museum. That's also a part of the seafaring tradition, so it sits right in here. But look at how beautiful this site is. Look at these Florida live oak. They are stunning. If you like trees. So this is the keeper's garden area. Everyone would have had to grow their own food, of course. And you can see that here. Lettuce. And they actually have a spin over here. Um, they, these are kunti plants. If you don't know anything, you're not from Florida, you can make a kind of starch from this, and they actually use it for baking. 